So I got a pair of Ultra Escalante shoes here. Uh, these shoes are really good. I really like them. This is probably my favorite shoe so far. Um, and as you can see, they're quite worn out. They're, there's there's literally a hole in the side of the shoe. Um, and they're really worn out, the soles and everything. So I, I covered around 4,000K with these shoes. And uh, I think it's time to retire them because I could feel already in the gate that, uh, that this is not okay. So um, just a few months after I bought these shoes, I bought, I like them so much that I bought an, an exactly the same type of shoe. So it's, these are brand new and, and these are the old ones. So I've always wanted to know how much a pair of shoes gets lighter by covering such a distance. You know, how much material do, do they shed over, over that distance? Um, I didn't weigh these when they were new, but um, I think that this is going to be quite a close approximation so that uh, I can do this little experiment. So I brought with me a, a kitchen scale. It's accurate to one gram. I know I cannot really weigh precisely, but it's going to be a good good estimate. So let's put this on the scale. So let's first weigh the new pair. They weigh 518, 19 grams. And the old pair, let's see how much they weigh. 502, so 17 grams lighter than the new pair. So as you can see, this pair weighs 17 grams less than an identical new pair. And 17 grams might not sound like very much for one pair of shoes, but if you think about it, what it means for, you know, a big number of runners, it's not very much. So I checked on Strava and last year the average distance for a run was six and a half kilometers. That means that it takes just over 600 runners to cover 4,000 kilometers in a day. And that's not very much. So in this park here, where I do most of my running, 600 runners per day is nothing. I'm sure there's probably thousands of runners here every day, and many of them cover a lot longer distances than six and a half kilometers. So if you just think about it, that's kilograms and kilograms of, of this most likely rubber and polyurethane material in really, really small particles dusted all over the place around here. So just think about it um, again on Strava last year there was over 2 billion kilometers logged um, so already that is is like almost 10 tons of this material shredded around and that's just on Strava and I'm sure that most of the people are not on Strava and uh, they run on asphalt where where there's a lot more shredding going on so a lot of more, a lot more material gets gets lost um, from a shoe a lot faster so while these shoes are great and I love them um, they're far from perfect and I think it's time that shoe manufacturers start making biodegradable environmentally friendly soles so that uh, we don't have to worry about all of the material that we leave in the environment where we live that's it for today so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time